Ready for the opener. And there they go. Rico Capote begins the best as a marked man comes away in last. So Rico Capote has the early pace advantage. Baseball and bourbons into second from his outside. A marked man strides into third covering Watergate. Stormtail's a late runner as the last of five, six or seven lengths off the lead. The old man, Rico Capote, makes the pace in search of his 22nd career victory. Baseball and bourbon is very sharp heading into the turn, and he gets on level terms. A marked man came away in last. Now he's third, two off the pace midway through the turn. Watergate is four lengths off the lead, and Storm Tails is beginning his bid from the back marker. Baseball and bourbon right alongside of Rico Capote. A marked man's a little even paced at the quarter pole. Storm Tails continues with his run to the far outside. Watergate's at the back. Rico Capote right back at baseball and bourbon. Rico Capote along the inside. Baseball and bourbon right there. Storm Tails with a late charge to the outside, and here comes Storm Tails. Storm Tails over the top to get the barn bragging rights from stable. 5-4, Sugar Rohina, exact of $51.50, past the sugar. 5-4-3, trifecta, $69, the dollar super, $351.50. Second race is clear of change, no changes. Race two, race two is in 23 minutes at 138. For today's second race. And there they go. You want to dance. Wins the start from the far outside. Diva Chick strides into second. Inside of Traips and Utopia. Trapper Jane has the fourth spot. Then Miss Stretta with Mom's Law. So it's the big long shot. You want to dance. Making the pace all by herself from Diva Chick and Traips and Utopia. Trapper Jane has the fourth position. Four lengths off the lead. About a length and a half to Miss Stretta who covers Mom's Law. Really no change here in the order. And no pressure has been applied to you. Wanda Dance. And she carves out a very soft opening quarter. 25 and 1 fifth. 24 to 1. The big long shot all alone on an uncontested lead. Trapes in Utopia second racing with Diva Chick. Trapper Jane and Miss Dredder are about four lengths off the lead. And they're about a length and a half in front of Mom's Law. Guided to a three wide position. They race up the Finger Lakes backstretch. The half and 50 and 3 fifths. It's a pretty good tempo for you, Wanda Dance. Still maintaining a two-length advantage to both Diva Chick and Trapes in Utopia. Trapper Jane, Mistretta, and Mom's Law are at the back marker. Three-eighths to travel. You, Wanda Dance, still with the lead, but here comes the entire pack. Trapes in Utopia, Mistretta, Mom's Law. Along the rail, Diva Chick, Trapper Jane's at the back. You, Wanda Dance, got away with very soft fractions. Really no excuses for her. She's a big number. Can she spring this upset? She's trying to make every pole a winning one at the top of the lane. And you want it, Ants has still not been collared. Diva Chick charging through along the inside. Trapper Jane after her. Mom's Law, Mistretta farther out. You want it, Ants. Here's Diva Chick up the inside. Diva Chick, you want it, Ants. Diva Chick. Diva Chick from You Want It, Ants. Three six exact to one hundred sixty seven dollars fifty cents. Three six two trifecta one hundred eighty eight dollars. The five three Kentucky bread double seventy one dollars fifty cents. Three six two one one dollar super eight hundred thirty seven dollars. And there they go. And Dosa Jam Mimosas begins the best, and she has the lead from Nani Kani. Live like Jay from the rail. Primetime Gal is fourth, and Dramana's Risk is the early trailer. The pace is pretty soft for a sick for a sprint. And on the front end, we have Dosa Jam Mimosas, three parts of a link to Nani Kani. And Dramana's Risk is third, racing outside of Live Like Jay. And at the tail of the field races, Primetime Gal. Indeed, it's very soft. Twenty-three and three that opening quarter. Dosa Jamamosas has the lead. Half a length to Nani Kani. Andromeda's risk is third. Primetime gal, a little less than three off the lead from the far outside. Live like Jay is four lengths from the front. They're at the top of the lane. And Dosa Jamamosas has controlled this soft pace throughout. The race goes through her. Nani Kani tries to stay close. Dosa Jamamosas getting clear at the eighth pole. 
That half one in 47 and four, and this race was over before it ever started. Dosa Jamamosas completely dominating, much the best with all the pace advantage. Checking in second was Nani Kani, then Primetime Gal, and in drop. $10, the dollar super, $24.10. Three four double eighteen dollars sixty cents five three four pick three twenty four dollars even. Fourth race will start our Thursday pick five. No changes in the fourth race. Post time is in twenty four minutes. That two for the start of the pick five. And there they go. CC's Dreamboat is showing pace. Engineer's report is also quickly away from the outside. These two hook up immediately. Slay me is third. You like that's fourth against the rail. Won't be missed from between runners in the two path. Base jumper races outside of Judge Stanton. Judge, Stite, Judge Stanton, somewhat of a tight spot as crossing over in front of him was base jumper. And towards the tail is Rudolph. So back to the front end where CC's Dreamboat continues his personal battle with Engineer's Report. Slamey is vying for third with both won't be missed and you like that against the rail. First five separated by about three near the five eighths. Five lakes to Judge Stanton, who races with base jumper. Another five to Rudolph at the back. 24 seconds at opening quarter. CC's Dreamboat a neck in front of Engineer's Report. Two and a half to Slay Me and won't be missed. You like that is now back to fifth. Six off the pace. Two and a half to Judge Stanton. Another length and a half to base jumper. Three lengths to Rudolph. 48 and three fifths for CC's Dreamboat. Right there with him, Engineer's Report. Slamey's inching closer from third along with won't be missed. Break of six to Judge Stanton. You like that's going in the wrong direction. Judge Stanton is finding his stride. He's closing in nicely from fifth. I'm going to base jumper and Rudolph at the back. Engineer's report and CC's dreamboat. Won't be missed. Launches his charge three wide. Slamey's going backwards. Far outside is Judge Stanton. Engineer's report gets the better of CC's dreamboat. Won't be missed. Comes a calling. And base jumpers jumping out of the ground to the far outside. Won't be missed. Engineers report. Base jumper late on the scene. Won't be missed. Won't be missed from engineers report. Base jumper took off in the final furlong. He's up for third. 3.8 exact to $28.80. 3.87 trifecta, $57.87. A dollar super, 3.875, $400 even. Four three double fourteen dollars twenty cents three four three pick three twenty two dollars fifty cents five with three with three four with three the early pick four one hundred twelve dollars ready for the start of our late pick four and there they go awkward beginning somewhat for scintillation Saratoga by design begins the best her pace partner is Kabuki treat her like a star's in touch from the rail now working into the two path scintillation is fourth Kim is fifth Gem Lover a late runner is the last of all. Kabuki's gonna pick up the pace from Saratoga by design. Treat her like a star's in the third spot. Three off the lead. More than five lengths to scintillation. Half a length to Kim. Another six or seven to Gem Lover. Pretty strung out. The pace is pretty good. 23 and three fifths. Kabuki and Andy Hernandez get the lead from Saratoga by design with John Devilla Jr. Treat her like a star's right there. She's only three off the lead at the five eights. Six or seven to scintillation. A length to Kim. And it's a long ways back, maybe 10 or 11, to the trailer, who is Gem Lover. 47 and 4 fifths for the half. And here is Kabuki still with the lead, a length and a half. Saratoga by design continues to pursue. And treat her like a star. Is still up close from third. Now she's beginning her bid, gradually closing in. Two and a half off the lead at the 3-8. Kim has about five lengths to find with scintillation. And it's about 9 or 10 back to Gem Lover. So they race to the quarter pole, and Kabuki still has the lead. But here comes Treat Her Like a Star. And Treat Her Like a Star is making a solid move for the top spot. And she's right alongside of Kabuki. Look at a Saratoga by design. And looking for somebody from the back, it's Gem Lover rolling to the far outside. So Treat Her Like a Star is going to get first run on Gem Lover. Gem Lover is absolutely flying to the far outside. And here she is over the top. Gem Lover. From last to first, Gem Lover, Kabuki fighting strongly. Gem Lover from Kabuki, then scintillation. Four it's worth $53.50. The trifecta, $142. The dollar super, $824.
The double three two thirty eight dollars eighty cents. Four three two pick three sixteen dollars eighty seven cents. Race six scratch the one salted here. Race no need to flatter me to the outside. And there they go, and it's a pretty good start for the quintet. Corporate Raider and Zababar quickly away. Mr. Pete's there. Dog Soldier's up close from the rail, and no need to flatter me as the last of five. Corporate Raider just a little quicker than Zababa, half a length. Dog Soldier is third, about a head in front of Mr. Pete from the outside, and it's almost two and a half or three to no need to flatter me. So they race through the opening quarter, and the time was 22 and two-fifths, and Corporate Raider utilizing his speed, getting away from Zababa, two lengths at the three-eighths. Mr. Pete takes over third from Dog Soldier, three off the lead, and it's three and a half to no need to flatter me. Corporate Raider still with the lead to himself at the quarter pole. It's a length and a half to Zababa. Mr. Pete's three off the lead. Dog Soldier's five lengths from the front, and no need to flatter me. He's at the back. Corporate Raider committed to excellence. He still has the lead. Zababa's running a big one. He will not go away. Corporate Raider angled out, trying to fend off Zababa. Corporate Raider, Zababa's huge this afternoon. Here's Zababa. Zababa from Corporate Raider. Then Mr. P, Dog Soldier. Ignacio, a New York bred Zababa by Wolfpen LLC. It's official. 4352 on the board. Exact to $40. The trifecta, $18.25. Uh, 24 double, $69. 324 pick three, $68. And. They're all in there. And there they go. High Command wins the start. Vincent Gambini's up close with cause for applause. Powerful Boy sharing fourth with Magnetron. Bad Sueno is the last of six. So High Command broke the best. He will make the pace to the first turn. Chasing him from the second spot is Vincent Gambini. Cause for applause is up close saving ground, utilizing his post. He's almost three parts of a length in front of Magnetron. Magnetron with the green silks and the white cap. He's only two and a half off the lead. About two and a half the powerful boy, just under five from the front. And Bad Sueno is the last of all. 24 and three fifths. On the front end, high command from the very beginning, almost a length. To the outside in second is Vincent Gambini. Magnetron's now in the three path, and he's a little more than two lengths off the lead. About a length and a quarter, back to cause for applause, who has worked away from the rail. Cause for applause is one from the outside. Powerful Boy is the deepest of all. Bad Sueno is saving ground. 49 and three-fifths for high command. Now into second is Magnetron. And Cause for applause is in the clear, and he's closing in from third. Vincent Gambini's backpedaling. Bad Sueno and Powerful Boy advance inside and outside of him. And it's high command still with the lead. High command in command at the quarter pole. Magnetron is very close from second. Cause for applause is third. Bad Sueno's trying to commence a bit up the inside. High command has led the entire trip. He still is strong at the eighth pole. Nearly two and a half. Magnetron is second. High command. Looks like he's going to go all the way. He's going to ride this rail all the way to the winner's circle. High command and Oscar Gomez at six to one. From Magnetron, Bad Sueno and cause for applause. The trifecta, $95. The dollar super, $660.50. Four three double, $147.50. 243 pick three, $74 even. The nightcap is clear of change. Post time in 21 minutes at 425. Ready for the nightcap. And there they go. Slow starts for both of the debutantes, Frosted Julep and Luna Valley, well out of it. Shamrock's Rule is showing pace with Intersect, Tropical Storm M is there, Miss Gary Z has the fourth position, then Pars Peppercorn, Frosted Julep makes a good recovery, she buys for fourth up the rail, now assumes that spot. Street Chamber, Green Silk, six lengths off the pace, about a length and a half to Very Stable Genius and Luna Valley is at the back. An intersect has found the front and the pace is soft and she looks tough here at the 3 8 through a 23 and 2 fifths. Working with nearly three lengths to Tropical Storm M. Street Chambers making a nice middle move into contention. Can she sustain this run? She is at the mercy of the pace. Shamrocks rule backpedals. Then Frosted Julep. Very stable genius. Pars Peppercorn. 
And Miss Gary Z, Luna Valley still at the back. Intersect the one to come and get. Tropical Storm M gets within a length. Intersect and Tropical Storm M at the eighth pole. Street Chamber could not sustain her run. Intersect still with something left. To the outside is Tropical Storm M. They are right alongside of each other as they race to the wire. Here's Tropical Storm M. A narrow winner from Intersect. Street Chamber third. Shamrock's rule four. 935 trifecta, $33.62. The dollar super nine three five two one hundred seventy nine dollars twenty five cents three nine late double one hundred three dollars fifty cents four three nine late pick three one hundred thirty nine dollars twenty five cents two four three nine late pick four four hundred forty six dollars fifty cents.